right, welcome back Awakened Intuitives. Welcome to any new Awakened Intuitives. Natalie here. We are back to do a prediction reading for the month of November 2023. Yes, today is the third. Um, I don't even know if this is going to upload today, but um, it's going to be done. So I am just a few days late, but everything happens for a reason. So what I want to do is I want to do the single so we can hone in a little bit, um, pull in some higher vibrational frequencies and energies. Um, I am calling Archangel Michael to come in and help bring some truth and balance and clarity to us so we can know what to expect, um, what to be aware of, what messages, what guidance can we take with us throughout the month of uh, 2023, November, okay? <laughs> anyway, so uh, I'll do the scene book. I'll pull some general energetic messages. Then we will begin by asking some questions and focusing on this month of November. I do have some 963 God frequency music playing in the background that I do not own the rights to. And um, I just have to ask, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I have to mention, um, if you are interested in a free personal reading, my email is in the description below. If you are interested in donating for my readings and my videos and time, um, there is a PayPal link in the description below. Thank you so much for being here. Don't mind my son. <laughs> he likes to scream some things. But anyway, so let's begin. I want to just go with the flow. I've got some questions written down. And just have an open mind. Always have an open mind. Always ask questions because the truth is always stranger than fiction. So let's begin by the, doing a single bowl. All the timestamps will linked in the description will be linked in the description below. So if you want to go straight to the pile or oh my gosh the reading, feel free, okay? All right, so for this, this is the higher heart chakra frequency, and this is to bring in that frequency, hone into that frequency of unconditional love and light, um, of those guides, protectors, um, angels of love and light, divine source light creator. And um, I will count down from three. I'll ding it three times, sing it, then ding it one last time. So if this is loud, you may want to turn it down for a moment, okay? Three, two, one. All right, okay, so I was told to use my selenite wand. It has some kyanite wrapped onto it with a lotus little charm at the bottom just to use over the cards, okay? I will also knock out the decks and tell you what they are as we go. Okay. All right, now... So these ones are the angel wisdom cards. We always ask, I always ask, divine source light creator and guides of love and light only to guide me, okay? So what can we um, get for the general energetic uh, messages, energy for the month of November, 2023? This month, please. Joy, ooh, okay. Joy springs from a sense of connection to the divine and it is a quality which illuminates you. Your angel guidance is to cultivate this quality by seeking the divine in every situation. Look beyond the surface and seek the light in the heart of each person. Wow. Then you will become aware of the wonder of creation and joy will ignite your life. Delight in everything for joy is a key to enlightenment. Enjoy life. Affirmation says I find joy in everything. So what I'm getting is this is going to be very important for the month of November to do what makes you feel joy, to do what lights you up, to surround yourself with who, what, where lights you up. Okay. Positive. All right. 
right. We'll set that right up here. Okay. Now from the Awakened Streamer Oracle. Divine Source Light Creator, Guides of Love and Light Only. What can we get from the Awakened Dreamer Oracle? For the month of November, general energetic message. The Divine Conspiracy. There may be some conspiracies that actually come to light that become truth. They are looked at as conspiracies. So I feel this month, a lot of these conspiracies are going to be proven to be real. Okay. Everything under heaven is on a mission to awaken you to your greatest, most enlightened potential. Review your life and see how even your challenges provide the perfect storm to take you. Hmm. Interesting. What was that? Calm before the storm. Calm before the chaos. Winter's coming. That's what that reminds me of. Okay. Um, shake you. Perfect storm to take you, shake you, and wake you up to your magnificence. This is to wake us up. That's what it's about. The divine conspiracy. Okay. So there's that one. Set that over here. Now, last one from the Shaman Wisdom Cards. All right. Divine Source Light Creator, Guides of Love and Light Only. What is the last general energetic message for the month of November 2023? This month we are in now. What else can we get before the reading? Oh, we have card number one. Wow. Ones are always, always about new cycles, new beginnings. We have stepped into a new age, the new age of Aquarius, a new era, a new earth. Okay. So one is like the first house, my son, sorry, the first house of Aries. Aries is the first sign of Zodiac wheel. Aries is the ram. The first house is how you step into your potential, how you step into a new situation, how you begin new things take actions. It says crow moon, Aries pots and child. That's funny. My son screamed. Wasn't that weird? Hmm. I'll have to pay attention to that. Okay. I am crow moon. I am discernment. I take various shapes and forms. I am power in your ego and in your center. You are under my light and I see what is really going on. Okay. Be sure to keep your ego in check and operate from a strong center. Very important. Remain grounded and secure in your own self-reliance. Keep earth wisdom and healing at the forefront of activity. Crow is a spirit messenger. Listen to your intuition and look for subtleties. Okay, that's just perfect. All right. Oh my goodness, Caleb. So sorry. <laughs> He's on one. Whew. He's just playing a game. Anyway. Okay, so that's it. Now we're going to begin with the reading. So here we go. Let's choose a deck and begin. All right. Um, let's see. I don't know. Yep. I keep looking at it. Let me get the guidebook. Just because. Okay. All right. So I pulled out the Unveiling the Golden Age Tarot by Izzy Ivy. So we're going to begin with this. I may go back and forth between Tarot and Oracle. This I actually call Tarot because it's like Tarot and Oracle mixed together. So, um... This is just all for entertainment purposes only. Always ask questions. Always have an open mind. Truth is always stranger than fiction. Let's see what we can get for the month of November. All right. Divine Source Light Creator. Guides of Love and Light Only. 
what can we expect for the first couple of weeks? Okay, first couple of weeks this month, November 2023, energetically. Let's focus on the first couple of weeks, what to expect energetically. <laughs> we just got Aries, the Aries card. We got Aries in the general messages. The first house in astrology. Okay, Aries is the first sign of Zodiac Well, on number one. One is always about a new journey, a new cycle, a new earth, a new age, new everything, a new birth, okay? New situations. So this is the emperor. This is a major arcana, like that. Major arcanas are life-changing events, consequences, like nothing's gonna be the same. This is big energy. So it's a four of the major arcanas. The fourth house in astrology is actually ruled by cancer. The fourth house represents home, family, structure, stability, earth okay so the emperor aries energy is a sovereign cohesion there is a white lion lyron um ooh. this is authority type energy this is st strong bullheaded type energy this is actions stability structure this is energetic This is also knowing how to play the game very well. Chess pieces. Let's read it. Wow. Energetically. This is groundedness. The emperor is the divine masculine. We got the divine conspiracy. It can be a boss, a leader, somebody who's in control, somebody who is the leader. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, let's read it. Sovereign Cohesion, Mythical Guardian Emperor, card number four, a major arcana. Energetically, the traditional image of this card is a powerful stoic leader, someone whose demeanor calls for authority and respect. The emperor represents the role of the paternal, fatherly protector and provider. This is the archetype of firmness together with fairness alongside knowledge, expertise, and rationality. When we embody and emanate security and stability, others feel safe and trusting. Drawing this card in a reading calls you to be strategic, responsible, and disciplined. Adhere to the plan. It's all part of the plan, everything happening, okay? Until it's complete. This card may also invite you to take on a leadership role or welcome more of this energy into your current reality. The healthy awareness says maintain an appropriate awareness of dominance, control, and possessiveness. Also be careful of becoming overly caught up in strict rules, regulations, and rigid thinking and actions. This is important energetically, okay? So what to expect energetically? This right here. Expect possible dominance, um, rules, regulations, control, possessiveness. All right. So I'm not going to read. Ooh, you know what? I have to. I have to read the story behind the image by Izzy Ivy. All right. This image was created as a response to finding a center in the chaos. What was I saying? Calm in the chaos. Calm before the storm. Calm before the chaos. Hmm. The paradox of maintaining sovereignty while cultivating healthy boundaries. Of oh, It is also about dreaming in and supporting a harmonic crystalline coherence on the planet through community and community and maintaining balanced interconnectivity where everyone thrives from what they are uniquely and co collectively here to do. Having boundaries may seem ominous if we are not used to welding this power we may fear upsetting others however when we assert our boundaries effectively we may be surprised at the increased respect we receive the clarity of a well-held container imparts guidance and stability to others who may look to us for how to be in the face of uncertainty with this there is more understanding of what we will or will not respond well to communities can falter when there is no awareness of boundaries Wow, boundaries. Hmm. It kind of does remind me of borders. All right. When everyone has given everything at the beginning of a project, that number one, Aries energy. 
they will eventually fall into survival mechanisms or subconscious power struggles. As they strive to regain inner equilibrium and maintain momentum, the key is to create sustainability from the start through clarity around everyone's edges and availability. When we have boundaries in place, it also allows us to maintain our energy and power, thus paradoxically affording us more bandwidth for the care we wish to give and what assets can expand from this. Rather than leading from a place of overpowering insecurity, it is better to lead from clarity and assertiveness and be motivated by integrity. When we honor our boundaries, we don't need to put up walls. Wow energetically so that's what we can expect so divine source light creator guides of love and light only so with the boundaries the walls the rules the regulations control leadership um is this an energetic power struggle on the people global on the people globally Is this um, an energetic power struggle on the people globally? One card, please. Do I need a different one? A different deck? Okay. <sighs> we have another major arcana, and this is the biggest yes card I could get. It's a judgment, and it says collective awakening. Wow. Wow. There's a power struggle on the collective awakening. Okay. Whoever's in authority, there's a power struggle going on. Um, they don't want us awake. They don't want us all to be awake. Card number 20. Okay. 20 can be reduced to a two. The second house is ruled by Taurus. The second house is our earthly plane, our earthly reality, the world we live in, community. Okay. So that's a huge, huge yes. All right, judgment. Judgment is making a decision. It's a judgment call. It's an awakening. It's surrendering to divine source like creator, trusting the process, having full faith. So receiving a wake up call. Absolutely. Those who are in control, authority, don't want us to have a collective awakening. There's a power struggle going on. Okay, so we're focused right now on the energy, what to expect for the first couple of weeks of November. That's just that right there. So now let's see about spiritually. All right, divine source, like creator, guides of love and light. Only. So what can we expect for the first couple of weeks of November 2023 spiritually? I feel it's got a lot of the same concept here. <laughs> crystalline staircase car number 40 hmm. funny so remember we had that four major arcana so 40 can be reduced to a four another four so the fourth house in astrology is ruled by cancer water sign fourth house is home family structure stability crystalline staircase five of portals this is the five of cups okay Fives is all challenges, power struggles, conflicts, changes, transformations. So five of cups is any loss, regret. We feel drained. We're going to be feeling drained big time because of this power struggle energetically. All right. We're going to be feeling drained. This crystalline staircase, like we just are going to feel drained and kind of down in the dumps. Um, maybe, uh, almost like our head down, our energy kind of low, right? So that's what it's going to be spiritually. Okay, so um, what can we do? What can we do to protect ourselves spiritually and energetically? For the first couple of weeks of November 2023, what can we do to protect our energy? What can we do? We did get that judgment. That can be surrendering to divine source like creator. What can we do? Ooh, we have garden. 
Okay, so it's a card number 72, which is a nine. So we have nine of Earth Guardians, the nine of Pentacles. So now we have 99. Nine is almost out of 10. It's really close to that completion um, for a new cycle to begin. Okay, we got that one. Um, garden, it's tending. It is really tending to yourself, self-care. Nine of Pentacles is um, material comfort, um, stability, structure. It's a very independent energy, but it's tending to your own self, your own needs, taking care of the things you need to take care of, um, looking out for your energy, your spirituality. Um, this includes whatever makes you feel joy, we got joy. Um, it could be meditating, it could be getting out in nature, it can be doing creative things, it can be spending time with loved ones, it can be lifting your own spirits, doing cleansings, energetically and spiritually, this is what we can do, okay? Okay, so now, um, whew, here we go. What can we expect for the first couple of weeks of November globally i feel the emperor and the judgment have a lot to do with that but what can we expect for the first couple of weeks of november 2023 globally three of portals the three of cups so it's a number 38 38 is a number 11 11 can be truth clarity balance two worlds mirrored numbers two ones right well two ones is a two the second house is earth earthly plane earthly reality it says geometric coherence the three of portals the three of cups is celebrations minglings get-togethers parties three energies threes threes are well the third house in astrology is ruled by gemini the third house represents communication transportation journey technology the three of cups three energies mixing together blending global hmm um, there's some connection here and I feel this is is this different authority figures like different countries three different countries is this like representing three different countries I okay I got to get my cards out. Is this three different countries energies? Is the globe focused on three different countries right now? For well, first, first few couple weeks, sorry. First couple of weeks of November. Is this the globe focused on three different countries? Three different authorities for the first couple weeks of November? Is that what that means? Nope. Four of activations. That's the four of swords. A card number 53. So here's the 38. The spirals. Interesting. Um, 53 being that eight, eighth house in astrology is ruled by Scorpio. We are in Scorpio season right now. Okay, and um, the first couple of weeks of November is in Scorpio season. But the 8th house in astrology is death, rebirth, endings for new beginnings, regenerations. So this is restful renewal, just like the 8th house. Renewals, regenerations, endings and new beginnings, death, rebirth. Four of swords is being laid to rest. There's three schools here. Wow. Oh my gosh, I have to get out my cards. Um, the activations, the swords, is mentality, thoughts, beliefs, communication, words. Oh my gosh. What's up with the skulls? There is a, an infinity symbol, but it also looks like DNA in the center. 
Oh my gosh. Is something gonna be put to rest? Are they resting or something? What? Okay, I'm gonna use my own cards, okay? So globally, these three energies, just putting something to rest. Are these three, are these, what are, what is the three energies by the way? Let's first ask that. Caregiving, caretakers, caregiving, caregiving. Okay, what else? Oh, that reminds me of Thanksgiving. They're, they're resting until Thanksgiving. Is that what that means? Oh my gosh, we have strength. That for me is a strong yes. I feel like they have put something to rest for now. For the first couple weeks of November, okay? So, caregiving. Thanksgiving. Hmm. Okay, so here's this. Now we have strength. This is Leo energy, which is fire energy. So, wait, wait, wait. After Scorpio season, we're transitioning into Sagittarius. Yep, it'll be Sagittarius season during Thanksgiving, so another fire sign. Anyway, this is Leo the Lion. It's a number eight, the infinity symbol, okay? There's some connection. Um, that eight is that death rebirth, endings and new beginnings, regeneration sex, money, oh, death, rebirth. It says origins of light, strength is fortitude, perseverance, taming obstacles. There, she is sitting on the globe. Remember, we're focused on the globe. What to expect for the first couple of weeks globally. There is a brick wall with codes on them that seems to be broken down in the middle. Remember, we were getting the borders, the boundaries, okay? Oh my gosh. Strength is taming the beast, like the lion and the lamb, beauty and the beast. Fortitude, perseverance. <sighs> A strong yes. Passion, fire, action. Taming any obstacle. Okay. Okay, so oh, ho, ho, ho. now let's move on. We're going to move into that mid part of November here in a minute. I just cut to justice, alignment of the heart card number 11, which is Libra energy. Okay, 11, mirrored numbers. Justice, that's clarity, truth, balance. That's so weird. Okay, so what can we expect um, in the first couple of weeks of, of November? It, can we expect any big events? Can we expect any big events for the first couple of weeks of November? Globally. Five of light codes. That's the five of wands. Power, struggles. Card number 26. So we have another eight. Remember, eighth house is Scorpio. Energy, Scorpio season. Eighth house is death, rebirth. Wow. Something's ending for a new beginning. Okay. It says harmony in adversity. Five of light codes. Five of wands. Wands is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Five of wands is a battle. A tug of war. Conflict. War. Tug of war. Arguments, fighting, struggling, okay? Any big event. Is this, fives is changes, transformations, and challenges. Well, that's been talked about. Is it all talk right now? Is it all mainly talk? Ace of portals, that's a yes for me because that's the ace of cups. Aces is a yes for me. So we have a 36, which is a nine. So now we're moving from an eight to a nine. Okay, so here's the five of wands. 
All right, so now we have the 36 Ace of Cups. Cups is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Um, Scorpio energy again. Wow. So the Ace of Cups is like the heart healing, heart chakra, love, unconditional love, feelings and emotions. It's a star nursery. Aces is a new beginning. Aces is a yes for me. Wow. So, oh my gosh. Okay. Um, can we expect anything with money? Can we expect any weird events, things like that with money financially? For the first couple weeks of November. I'm using my cards again. Can we... Maybe we shouldn't use those. Can we expect anything? Oh my gosh, justice on the bottom. Okay, that's a yes. That's a number 11. Libra energy. 11 is balance, justice, truth, harmony, clarity. Karma, alignment of the heart. We just had the heart chakra, heart energy. Justice. That's the scales. Balance. So money balancing out financially. Financially, it's balancing out the first couple of weeks of November. We have another ace. That's a yes. And not only being an ace, it's an ace of pentacles. Pentacles can be money, financial, material, worldly, earthly. The ace of earth guardians. It's a card number 64, a meadow. 64 is a 10. So 10 is fulfillment, success, completion. Um, cycles for endings for new beginnings. So that's a yes. Wow. Okay. It's balanced for the first couple of weeks of November. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles can be new opportunities, new offers, new financial endeavors, um, new job, new careers, um, new, new, new. Okay. All right. So what else do we need to know about? Oh, okay. I was told to get my other one. Okay, what else do we need to know about the financial um, for the first couple of weeks of November 2023? What else do we need to know financially about this balance, new money things, wooded area, wooded area. That is so weird. We have meadow. That's not a wooded area. That's totally the opposite. Remember, we had the 11 mirrored numbers and that ate a lot is there going to be a flip in the financial system wooded area is there going to be a flip in the financial system or something first couple weeks of november 2023 and just remember nothing is ever set in stone especially with predictions tarot things like that that's what things really do look like from right now but anybody and everybody has free will, so anything can change. But this is what things look like, okay? So is this some kind of flip or switch with the financial system? First couple weeks of November. Card number 51. Ooh. 51 is a six. The six house in astrology is Virgo energy. Six house is the body, health, wellness, daily routines, boundaries, organization. There's some kind of organization going on with the financial system. Okay, um, we've heard of cryptocurrencies, we've heard of the gold and silver, we've heard of all that. So it says attune and recalibrate, okay? The two of activations, the two of swords. Two of swords can be a stop sign, block, crossroads, um, kind of back and forth in the mind, blindfolded, not seeing something clearly yet, um, decisions and choices, okay? So there's some kind of recalibration going on. It's like back and forth, meadow, wooded area, meadow, wooded area. That's what's going on the first couple of weeks of November with the money, financial. Okay, now, um, can we expect anything for the first couple of weeks of November with earth, m weather, nature? 
anything big like that. 33. 33 is a six. Virgo energy, the body can be earth, right? Um, health. Hmm. Wellness. Daily routines, boundaries, and organization. Um, it says an anonymous initiator. Anonymous. Paladin of light codes. That's the page of wands. No, no, no. Sorry. That's the knight of wands. That's fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Fire, warmth, heat. Comes quickly in and out, back and forth, off and on. Up and down. 33, mirrored numbers. Can be flirtatious, compassionate, passion, um, very inspirational, um, action taking, has ideas. Very fiery, back and forth, in and out, off and on. Oh, okay, I'm getting another tarot. And um, I let's just use the Muse tarot. What the heck? With with weather, earth, nature? Um, well, honestly, I've been seeing um notifications in my email that I get about earthquakes globally. And there was a couple good ones, like in the it was like six point nine, six point seven in um oh shoot. Where was that? Where was that? I can't remember. I can't remember. I'll try to remember to go look. Anyway, so I seen that. So it's like a wobble, right? A wobble. So is earth wobbling? Divine source, light creator, guides of love and only. Is, is this earth wobbling? The first couple weeks of November, 2023. I'm sure she's been wobbling for quite some time. <laughs> We just got the two, <gasps> another two. We have two, two now. There's a wobble, okay? Um, two of cups. Cups is water. Air, or um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, the water. Feelings, emotions, intuition. Um, the two of cups can be choices, decisions, actions. Or sorry, choices and decisions. Um, that's weird. And two voices is the tube of swords, which is air. So we have water and we have air. <laughs> wow. Two of swords. Remember, it can be the blindfold at a crossroads back and forth in the mind. Are you kidding? Is this tectonic plates moving? The first couple of weeks of November 2023. Is this the tectonic plates moving all over the globe? They're constantly moving, but I'm really talking moving. Wake. Queen of materials. This is the queen of pentacles, which is earthy. Taurus Virgo Capricorn. She's very grounded. She isn't back and forth. She's grounding. She's aligned. She's secured. She's very secure. Whoa. Is this the North and South Pole shifting? Is this the pole shifting? They've always shifted. It's nothing new, but is this the North Pole and South Pole shifting? Four of, and then an ace and the hangman. There you go, death. Hmm. Yes, queen of materials. This can be earthy energy, Mother Earth Gaia, okay? Now we have a four of wands. The four of wands is home, family, structure, stability, okay? Yeah. And fire energy. We also have the ace of materials, the ace of pentacles. That's earth, new, okay? New seeds, new earth energy. And the hangman. The hangman 
is Sacrifice Limbo, Hanging at Free Will, Upside Down World, Upside Down Reality, Flipped. Now we have Death. Scorpio Energy rules the 8th house, okay? 8th house, Death, Rebirth, Changes, Transformation, Endings and New Beginnings. Death, card number 13, which is a 4, 4th house, Home, Family, Structure, Stability. There's silence here. It's it's not being talked about, but it's being weaved. It's being moved and weaved. <sighs> wow. Okay. So, um, can we, now let's move on. Can we expect anything with our health, globally our health, for the first couple of weeks of November 2023? We're already at 4040. Oh my gosh. Can we expect anything with our health the first couple of weeks of November 2023? Any changes? Anything weird? Mm, Knight of Cups. Knight of Emotions. Justice on the bottom. Well, the Knights are the warriors. They're the battlers. They can be military. Um, it can be just warriors in general. Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Water. The Knight of Cups wears his heart on his sleeve. Hearts. Okay, this is also feelings and emotions, water, energy, or liquid, okay? Hearts, ooh. And we have justice again. That is crazy. Knight of Cups can be messengers of feelings and emotions, of love. Very intuitive, empathetic, sensitive. Very sensitive. This is something about... I feel like empaths, people who wear their heart on their sleeve, warriors, sensitives are going to be sensitive, okay? With health, first couple of weeks of November. Now we have justice. That's truth, clarity, balance, uh, recalibration, right? The scales, a number 11, two different worlds. Look at, she's being split open. Very interesting. Okay, so um, is there anything else we need to know about the first couple of weeks of November 2023? From my cards, please. Do we need to know anything else for the first couple of weeks of November 2023? There's only one that flipped up right. Where is it? Timeline. Timeline. There's something very significant about the timeline. I swear it's all part of the plan. It's all part of the plan. Timeline for what? Is it all planned? What is it? I just seen this. We have child liberation, sound of freedom, O-U-R. So it can be any other organizations just like that. It doesn't have to be that. It can be actual liberation. Us liberating. We just got justice. And the sounding, a calling of our freedom. It's our freedom. And I do feel it's a lot to do with the little, littles. Okay. Timeline. <laughs> All right, so now um, let's move on to the mid-November, okay? All right, Divine Source Light Creator, Guides of Love and Light Only. What can we expect for mid-November 2023 this month energetically? What can we expect mid-November 2023 energetically do I need another deck again yep okay I need another deck again oh shoot let's do the revelations tarot
Okay, Divine Source Light Creator, Guides of Love and Light Only. What can we expect mid-November 2023 energetically? What can we expect mid-November? Thank you. Six of Wands? What? Six of Wands? That's fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Mid-November is moving from Scorpio to Sagittarius. So, Six of Wands is success, victory, triumph, spotlight, recognition, coming to light on the stage. We have the lovers on the bottom and the chariot. Whoa. Six of Wands. This reminds me of liberation. Okay. In the spotlight, recognition, success, victory, triumph. Now we have the lovers, Gemini energy, which is the number six of the major arcanas. Well, six houses, Virgo energy, health, the body, wellness, dealer routines, boundaries, organization. The lovers can be a choice, a decision. It can be a relationship. It can be balance, harmony, um, union, unity. Okay. Wow. And then we have the chariot, which is cancer energy. Cancer rules the fourth house of home, family, structure, stability, celebration. It is a number seven of the major arcanas. The seventh house is Libra energy. The scales, relationships, partnerships, unions. The chariot, though, is mixing two opposing energies very well. We keep getting mirrored numbers. Um, it is warriors. It is a warrior spirit to move forward, take control, take the reins, to keep moving forward, perseverance, fortitude. It is full speed ahead. There's going to be some forward movement. And some success and victory. This is energetically. Wow. Now let's ask. You know what? Let's pull one card from my cards first, then we'll move on to spiritual. Okay. What else do we need to know about mid-November? This mid-November 2023, energetically. Breathtaking. Something is going to be breathtaking. What is it going to be about, please? What's breathtaking going to be about energetically? What's this going to be about? What is it going to be about though? Huh. We have East and also Middle East. Then we have legal proceedings. There's going to be some uh, breathtaking like act decisions, choices. East, Middle East. But there's some going to be some success and triumph and victory. Let's ask, is this all part of the big plan of the good divine light? Is this all part of divine source light creator's plan? Hierophant on the bottom and the world. Very interesting. Two of cups. Yeah. The Hierophant is Taurus energy. Taurus rules that second house of earth, our reality, our earthly world. It's a five of the major arcanas. Five is changes and transformations and challenges. But the Hierophant is a religious leader or spiritual leader or teacher. I was just talking about divine source like creator's plan. Good. And it can be church. Um, it can be religion. It can be conformity rules, establishments, marriage contracts, holding keys, getting the keys to unlock knowledge. Okay, deeper understandings, truths. Okay, now we have the world of what's been going on in the world. Okay, um, this is another major arcana. It is a number 21, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. 21 is also three. The third house in astrology is ruled by Gemini. It is 
communication, transportation, journey, and technology. Three can be a cooperation, teamwork, contracts, commitments, working together. The world is forward movement. It is a journey. It is travel. It's also success, completion, um, fulfillment. And then we have a two of cups again, again. So decisions, balance, choices, um, unions, harmonies. It's all part of the plan to unlock the things, um, the successes of balance and harmony and truth in the world. A new cycle as well for the world. Okay. Remember, major arcanas are life changing events and consequences. All right. So that's energetically. So now what about spiritually? What can we expect for mid-November spiritually? What? Let's try that again. What can we expect spiritually? Okay, I'm going to pull from my deck, I guess. What can we expect for, ooh, I don't want to bend my cards, for mid-November spiritually? What can we expect spiritually in mid-November 2023, this month? What can we expect spiritually? We just got trapped to struggle. <laughs> Agencies. Female. Or FEMA. Okay. And fear mongering. Is that going to be the success? Is oh, trapping these agencies or agency maybe possibly female or FEMA okay because of all the fear mongering okay ooh we got the ace of swords on the bottom ace of swords is truth clarity archangel michael sword cutting out bs cutting out lies cutting out manipulation bringing in the truth so here's trapped Oh my gosh, I have to ask, is this like, is this FEMA going to be trapped? Oh, I'm just gonna I'm gonna ask again though. Yeah, is this like FEMA? The agencies like that going to be trapped mid November 2023? Is it like going to be, they're going to be struggling or something? Ooh, the star. Well, the star is Aquarius energy. Aquarius rolls the 11th house of hopes, wishes, friends, and community. Communities um, reminds me of humanity as well. The star card um, is. An error sign. It is healing. It's a 17. Another 8. 8th house. Scorpio energy. Water. It's also that um, death, rebirth, changes, transformations, endings for new beginnings. Oh my goodness. It's also healing, channeling, um, hope, wishes, wish fulfillments, wishes coming true, wishes coming in. Wow. So this is something coming out about this specific agency. Is that correct? Mid-November 2023? 
Six of Cups. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. How funny is that? So Six of Cups is about the past. Okay? It is about history. It's about memories, the past. It can also be the roots, lineage, ancestors. Also, childhood. Childhood memories. Put those two together. Okay? Remember, we got that child liberation. All right? Now we have a Four of Cups. Four cups is something we haven't seen, something that's been unknown, n hidden, not in the light to see. Remember, we got enlightenment, awakening, collective awakening in the beginning. Something about the history. And then we have death again. Death, Scorpio energy. Okay, this is a card number, major arcana, number 13. All right, 13 is a four. Fourth house is home, family, structure, stability, can be celebration, um, parties. Oh, boy. So, um, um, it, so the death is death, rebirth, changes, transformation, endings, and new beginnings. Nothing's going to be the same. Look at the damn card. Look at the skull. Look at the little. And look at the figure above. Um, that is Callie. Let me read that. It says Callie does her fluid dance. Fluid. Both of these are cups. Water. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, I'm going to read this. So, Callie does her fluid dance. She sings a tune that marks the end. Something painful in life is about to come to an end. The death card symbolizes the death of any horrid situations. Okay. Or trying times that may be affecting the inquiry. It also heralds a time of change that will be experienced shortly after the end. Major changes lie ahead. In a situation, this card symbolizes the end of any projects, relationships, or dialogue the inquiry has entered. The end has come for the situation because it has finally reached its lifespan. One has to remember that nothing lasts forever. This can be something or somebody you've known for a long time. Something for a long time. Memories, the past. History. So, this all has to do with the tiny tinies it all has to do with the tinies okay all right so that's energetically what the heck or was that spiritually i feel like that's the same okay um so what can we expect globally um mid november 2023 i'm gonna do my cards again what can we expect globally mid 2023 or mid november 2023 sorry Divine source light creator. Mid-November. Glo oh. Globally. We have demons, demonic. Okay, what else? Reminds me of that Cali. What else? What does that mean? Technology. 5G. Hmm. Ooh. What the heck? Is this AI? Is something going to be globally spoken about? I just seen the devil card. Dang it. Is this AI? Is this AI? Five of swords. Ooh, in the tower. And there's the devil. <laughs> wow. So, demon demonic. Okay, we're talking global. Okay. Now, technology 5G. So now we have a five of swords. Five of swords can be military, army, battlers, warriors. This can be winning at all cost. Blocking others out, not letting others in. Just tunnel vision. Okay. And then we have the tower. Tower and the devil. Both major arcanas. 
the towers fire energy aries leo sagittarius which is the number 16 of the major arcana 16 can be the seven seventh house is libra energy the scales relationships union partnerships the scales can be truth um karma the tower is crumbling of a faulty foundation crumbling of bullshit and so we can build a better structure better stability better tower right better castle um, this is lightning striking, crumbling of a faulty foundation. Nothing will ever be the same. Upheaval, pulling the rug up from underneath the feet. Now, this is all with evil, demonic, devil, negatives, low vibrational. Um, I just heard elite, negative, evil, elite. Okay, this is the number 15. So we're counting down here. Remember, we got the star. That was a 17. Now we have tower 16. Now we have 15. So 15 can be a six, six houses, Virgo energy, body, health, wellness, daily routines, boundaries, organization. Very interesting. These organizations are crumbling. Look, there's money here. So the devil is Capricorn energy, which is an earth sign. Um, they've used technology. I got this before. In the past, they've used technology for these kinds of things to keep us tunnel vision, not aware, right? As many other things, programming, subconscious programming, change, locked up, tied up, fear, fear mongering. We got that. Okay. Wow. That's globally, mid-November. What a trip. Okay. So what about... um? Can we expect any big events um, mid-November 2023? Can we expect any big events? Can we expect any big events of mid... Oh my gosh. The moon. Another major arcana. This is a number 18. What a trip. 18 is a 9. Ninth house is ruled by Sagittarius. It's a fire sign. Ninth house is faith, spirituality, trust, higher learning, higher perspectives, higher understandings. <sighs> the moon can be maternal. The moon is water. It's Pisces energy, which is the 12th house. This is subconscious. We were just talking about subconscious. This is anything that's been hidden beneath the surface, any manipulations, any lies, any deceit, anything that's been hidden, unknown, and unseen. The moon eventually becomes full, and that's when things are illuminated. Wow. Is there something going to be going on with the moon or water? Or both? Hmm. I know that the next full moon is almost the end of November. It could be maybe like the 28th or something. That's more at the end of the month, but okay, we'll get there. We're getting there though. Um, okay. So is this some big event with water? Mid-November 2023? Three cups, water. Three cups, we got that before. Sheesh. Um, three of cups. That three, third house in astrology is Gemini energy. The third house is communication, transportation, journey, and technology. Oh boy. Is there something going to happen from technology with water on the planet? Is there something going to happen with water from technology. <gasps> Ace of Cups and it's water. Cups is water. <laughs> Three of Cups. Now, Ace of Cups. Ace is a yes. And Ace of Cups out of everything that I could get? Really? That's a yes. This is an overflow. Okay. An overpour. Huh. Is this literal water overflow? Oh, I need another tarot deck. Shoot. Let's do the Light Seer's Tarot. Shoot. 
shoot. Maybe, maybe not. I dropped a card in the very back of this one. There it is. I got it. What was that? Let's see which one that fell in the back. Oh my god, the Six of Wands. That for me is a yes. That's Success, Victory, Triumph, Spotlight. Look at the wreath. That almost reminds me of Christmas or holidays. <gasps> That's funny. Okay. Oh my god, the Ace of Pentacles. That's another yes. That's seeds planted. New cycles. New oh my gosh, look at the moon. The moon. The justice. That's so funny. They're all falling out of the stack. Look, the devil. I knew it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Six of wands. Somebody who is in the spotlight or something in the spotlight. Something being lit up. Triumphant, successful, victorious. Now we have justice, the scales, the true sword, Archangel Michael sword, Libra energy, card number 11, karma, balance, court, law. Now we have the moon again. What the heck? 18, the moon, Pisces energy, unknown, unseen, hidden beneath the surface, something in, something under the surface. Oh, is this, okay, I have to ask, is this those neutrino detectors? I was going to do reading on that. I haven't finished writing about it yet. Is this something about the neutrino detectors? Is this something about the neutrino detectors? Ten of swords. Ten could be a no. Could be something else. Now we have the devil Capricorn energy. So six of wands. Hmm. We have justice. Air energy. Fire, air. Check this out. Fire, air, water, earth. Because this is fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, air, Libra, water, Pisces, ca uh, devil, Capricorn, which is earth. The elements. Ten of swords. That's air. Ten of swords is betrayals. Ten swords in the back. Feeling betrayed. Betrayed by communication. Betrayed by beliefs. Thoughts. The mind. What the heck? Well, what do we need to know about this? Water, energy. Um, technology and water, energy, mid-November 2023. What do we need to know about it? What do we need to know about the water? And the technology, mid-November 2023. This month. Mail distraction okay it's a lot about distractions um male m-a-l-e male distraction it's just going to be a distraction is it just going to be a distraction with the water and technology mid-november 2023 is it going to be just a distraction a male is going to try to distract us with that situation. Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is the seer in water energy. We're going to see through it. We're going to see through this distraction. Queen of Cups is a seer. She's a channeler. She uh, is empathetic, uh, sympathetic. She's an empath connected to her abilities she's also there for others very much so what the heck weird weird oh my gosh you guys got to let me know what you think uh, what you think it, it may all be okay 
So now let's move on. Um, can we expect anything with our health? Um, as a humanity, um, with our health, mid-November 2023? Can we expect anything with our health, mid-November 2023? Eight of Cups. Hmm. Weird. Eight again. Eight of Wands. So now we have an Eight of Cups and an Eight of Wands. 88. 88 is a 16. That 16 of a Major Arcana would be the Tower card. Um, which would be crumbling of a faulty foundation, um, falling out of the tower, upheaval, lightning striking, um, natural disasters, but it's also a huge transformation, a huge change. Nothing will ever be the same, but it's to build a better foundation, better structure. But the Eight of Cups is leaving behind somebody, something, situations, things that hold you back, letting go of things to move forward to your goals, to your dreams and achievements, walking away. Wow. Okay. Now the eight of wands, fire, energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Oh, eight of wands is something coming in fast, sudden and swift and quick. I just seen one 11, 11. Eight of wands. It can be messages too. their wands so is it going to be like all these distractions from every direction and we're about our health and we're going to leave that behind we're walking away from all that or what the major arcana and then <laughs> whoa so eight of wands can be messages. It can be coming in from every rich direction. It can be um, something coming in fast, sudden, swift, and quick on fire. Okay, now we have death. Scorpio energy. It says death rebirth. It's a number 13 of the major arcana. 13's a four. The fourth house in astrology is ruled by cancer. The fourth house is home, family, structure, stability, solid foundation. And then we have a four of swords. So the freaking Scorpio, death, rebirth is regeneration, endings and new beginnings. Deaths, rebirths, cycles, rising phoenix from the ashes. Now the four of swords is laid to rest. Resting after battle before you get back up. Recuperation, meditation, nap, sleep. It can also be, oh my gosh, look at the heart unraveling. Oh boy. Does this have anything to do literally with people with their health actually literally laying to rest? We have the star card, another major arcana. Nope, that's healing. There's going to be healing. Uh, the star card is a number 17. 17 is an 8. Scorpio energy, eighth house, death, rebirth, changes, transformation, endings, and new beginnings. The star card is actually healing, wish fulfillment, wishes coming in, channeling universal energies, universal knowledges. Wow. And vulnerability in a healthy way. Wow. What a trip. <sighs> okay. Anything else we need to know about our health for mid-November 2023? Anything else we may need to know about our health in November? Therapist and therapy, healing, amazing. And then look, mental, psych psychological, a lot of healing, a lot of healing. What a trip. That goes along with the Eight of Cups. It is walking away from things that are not healthy. Um, energetically spiritually with your emotions i mean all of it to heal to fulfill your dreams reach your accomplishments okay can we expect anything financially any um changes with our financial system mid-november 2023 can we expect anything mid-november 2023 with our financial system
king of cups huh we had that queen of cups now a king of cups cancer pisces scorpio so hmm i don't know this is different the king of cups used to be very sensitive um he is an empath he is sympathetic he has sympathy he actually balances two worlds very very well there's more balance it's so weird um he may hold his feelings deep deep inside hmm Hmm. Some kind of balance. Emotional fulfillment. Okay. Um, last one. Um, can we expect anything with our weather, nature, earth, mid-November 2023? Can we expect anything? Okay. I was told to use my deck again. Can we expect anything with the weather, nature, mother, earth, earth, mid-November 2023? Can we expect anything? Um different any big events with nature weather um earth the swamp the swamp that's like okay that reminds me of south uh southeast united states is this is, is this southeast united states like Georgia, right? Uh, Florida. Is this Southeast United States or something? The swamp? Remember, we were getting a lot of the water. Is this... Ooh. I heard hurricane. Is this Southeast United States? The swamp. Three of cups. Wow. And the sun. That's a yes for me. Wow. Three of cups, three energies, three states, three places. Holy shit. And then what's the sunny state? Florida. It's a number 19. This is a major arcana, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So 19 can be the 10. 10 is success, fulfillment, completion, endings for new beginnings. It's cycles. Um, it also can be reduced to a 1, which is new beginnings, new journeys, new cycles, new things. But this is warmth, summer, sunny, um, joy, happiness, enlightenment, awakening. And um, so is this... Is this some some kind of hurricane or something knight of cups again cups is water energy knights are the warriors the battlers the military of some kind or he wears his heart on his sleeve he's he's a messenger of love of feelings emotions um he's a sensitive He's sympathetic, empathetic. He may get turned down, hurt a lot. So he doesn't always finish the race. So there's red roses. Hmm. It looks like he's on the beach and there's water. Is this Florida? And like Georgia. Let's see. Louisiana. Is this Louisiana, Georgia, Florida or something? Kind of like those areas. Ten of Wands. Ten can be a no, but now we have an Ace of Cups. Aces is a yes. This is so freaking weird. Okay, Knight of Cups. Water energy. 
the, the knights wear the armor. Could be protection. Could be protected. So now we have a Ten of Wands. Wands is fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The Ten of Wands is about burdens. Anything on your back weighing you down. Carrying burdens. Carrying heavy things on your shoulders, right? But it's also that completing and ending. The ox is helping her carry all of her luggage. Now, the Ace of Cups. Aces can be, yes. Cups is water. Ace of Cups is healing. It's heart, heart chakra, love, unconditional love, feelings and emotions, flow. Okay. Um, uh, okay. Are, are they going to be protected or something? From the water? Mid-November 2023? Other country involvement? Physical. It's like physically, physically protected or something. But what is this other country involvement? Uh, O-C-I. Um, what is this other country involvement physical? What does that mean? What does that mean? Can we get? Okay, I heard another deck. Um, this is freaking weird very different let's do the sacred web okay what is the other country involvement physically what does this mean what does this mean movement in motion movement backing down There could be some kind of other country involvement. Using technology with the water, weather, somehow, maybe possibly a hurricane, um, that have to back down. That This is so weird. Is that right? Sacred web tarot, is that correct? Movement motion is water. Ace of Cups. Major Arcana. This is justice. So what I'm getting is maybe some kind of other country involvement Wanted a burden, use some kind of technology for motion, movement, physically, and something about having to back down. Uh, remember, plans, okay? And now we have justice, Libra energy, which is the scales. Um, Libra rules the seventh house of relationships, partnerships, union, balance, harmony, the scales bouncing out, law, court, order. So the true sword, weird. Okay. Oh boy, oh boy, okay. Now for the end of November 2023, what can we expect energetically? For the end of 2023, what can we expect energetically? End of November 2023, what can we expect energetically? South America's. Okay, what about it? It could be South US too. Firmament Dome? The Firmament Dome. That reminds me of a boundary, a border. End of November 2023. Is something going to be seen 
in the South Americas that has something to do with the firmament dome. Is something going to be seen about the firmament dome, South Americas? Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so here's South Americas. This could be South U.S. too. Is this South U.S.? Yes. The Magician. That's Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. This is a yes. This is, look at that, weaving the web of life. Look, it has all the tools, manifesting alchemy, master alchemist, alchemizing energies. So this, for me, is like South America, U.S. So what we're getting, Swamp. Florida, you, uh, like Georgia, maybe um, those, Louisiana, like those places, you know, the firmament dome. And then now we have a nine of pentacles. So the nine, ninth house in astrology is ruled by Sagittarius. The ninth house is spirituality, faith, higher learning, higher education, higher knowledge, higher understanding. And the pentacles is earthy. The pentacles is actually yin yangs above. And it looks like a dome. <laughs> the nine of pentacles is um, a single, very independent energy. Um, sits well financially, materially. Um, so what's going to happen with it? What What is it? Is something going to be seen down South America, U.S.? Chemtrails? Oh. oh, my gosh. Something's going to change with the chemtrails. In the air, the sky. Remember, we were getting a lot of air in the beginning. Weird. Not contrails. Chemtrails. They modify the weather. We know this. You can pull up government websites. I will link one in the description below. They've been cloud seeding for years. Okay. All right. So that's energetically. We're going to feel this energetically. Um, that there's going to be some kind of change um, with the firmament dome. And it may involve these chemtrails or modifying weather. Okay, so now what can we expect for the last part of November 2023 spiritually? Whoa. Whoa. Three of feathers. This is the three of swords. Swords is air. Okay. It is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. So this for me is a Gemini card because it's three and it's air. So Gemini, third house, communication, transportation, journey, and technology. There's actually a polar bear on some ice that's broke off. Very interesting, huh? Spiritually, three swords can be betrayal of the heart, heartbreak, betrayal with words, communication, beliefs. Look what's on the bottom of this ocean. Hmm. Okay. So the three of swords can be some kind of betrayal with the mind, the mentality, what we're taught to believe. Okay, is this something to do with global warming? We're going to feel the betrayal spiritually with what we were taught. Ten of Pentacles. And um, we I just seen community underneath the ocean, okay? Or behind the ocean. So Ten of Pentacles can be a community, a group, humanity. Um, there is a bison here. They are very, very grounded, but they're also very connected with the crown chakra. Okay. So we're talking spiritually. This to me is like coming together spiritually or something. 
Wow. 10 is a fulfillment, a completion, a success. Um, cycles. 10 of Pentacles can be communities, um, a group of people, a group, lineage, structure, stability, foundations. Pff, weird. Um, okay, let's keep going. I gotta hurry and be done. Um, what can we expect for the last bit of November 2023 globally? What can we expect the last part of November globally? 2023. Volcano erupt. Okay, it doesn't have to be literal. Globally. There's going to be some kind of eruption. We keep getting like the tower, these big death rebirths. What about this volcano erupt eruption? Last bit of November 2023. Fire. With what though? With what though? Witness. That's ocean. Witness. Seeing a volcano erupt. Are we going to be seeing a volcano erupt? An eruption of a volcano? I'm just going to ask. Ooh, I see the Ace of Wands. That's fire energy, by the way. We're going to witness a volcano er eruption or something. Is this literally a volcano erupting at the end of November 2023? Another major arcana, the High Priestess. And then another major arcana, it's the Star card. And then another major arcana, which is the Hermit. Kind of think so. Oh boy. Okay, volcano erupt. Okay, now we have fire. Now we have witness. Remember, end of November is Sagittarius season fire. Okay, and then um, we have the Ace of Wands, which is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This Ace of Wands is um, manifesting new inspirations, new magic, new passion, new fire, um, something new. Okay, um, waving the magic wand, um, creating. Um, now we have the High Priestess, which is actually water energy. Uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, a number two of the major arcanas. The second house in astrology is ruled by Taurus. The second house is earthy. Anything with Earth, Mother, Earth, Gaia, our reality. And um, she holds the secrets, the knowledge, the information within. She is very connected to the ethers, um, her esoteric knowledge. Um, very connected. Uh, she's a channeler. She's very spiritual. She's psychic, uh, empathetic. So this is a connection. This is so weird. It's like that figure eight reminds me of the high priestess globally. Unlocking esoteric knowledge, connecting spiritually. It may be some mm, global unlocking to the, the esoteric realm or spirituality. Weird. And then we have the star card, which is Aquarius energy, air, 17s and 8. Eighth, eighth house, Scorpio energy, death, rebirth, endings for new beginnings. Star card is healing, vulnerability, uh, wish fulfillment, wishes hurt the universe, star being, star being guidance, channeling, um, connection with the universe, connection with the stars. So um, now we have Hermit. So here's the Aquarius card, star card. And then we have the Hermit, which is Virgo energy. We got Virgo a lot and Scorpio a lot. Ooh, let's see. So that nine, this being a nine, major arcana, the ninth house is ruled by Sagittarius. 
faith, spirituality, higher learning, higher understanding, higher education, higher knowledge, higher realms, trust. This hermit being Virgo, this is hermiting, pulling back, retreat, recharge. Inner knowledge, inner wisdom, inner light, lighting the dark path ahead. Freaking weird. It's an elephant. They're very grounded and very connected to the esoteric realm as well. This is really interesting global global is this going to be natural this volcanic eruption you know like i said nothing's ever set in stone okay um anything can change um So we're going to be seeing a volcanic eruption, the end of November, 2023. We're focused on the global, right? Globe. The fool. And then we have the higher font, two major arcanas. Major arcanas, life-changing events, consequences. The zero of the major arcanas, zero is a full circle. Okay. Um... There's a pyramid or a triangle with a rabbit inside of it. The fool can be, it's Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, energy, air. And it is a leap of faith, trusting the fall, having full faith, jumping into the unknown. The fool, younger energy, spontaneous, adventurous energy. Now we have the higher font. Number five of the major arcana is five is changes, transformations, and challenges. The higher font is a spiritual, religious leader or teacher. Conformity rules establishments, marriage contracts, keys, knowledge, information to community, to society. That's, I don't, I don't know. This pyramid reminds me of a volcano or a mountain. I don't know. It's really weird because it's like, it's, this eruption going to like unlock our awakening and you know really really interesting this is taurus energy by the way the higher font taurus rules the second house of earth this is so weird so weird now um, let's now ask about any big events. <laughs> so strange. Okay, can we expect any big events, um, at the end of November 2023? Can we expect any big events at the end of the month debt collector okay written in red rescue wow rescue debt collector what the heck is our debt going to be somewhat rescued as a, a, a nation is the, is our debt going to be somewhat rescued as a nation? Is our debt going to be some, somehow rescued? What? What is this? The source of error. So that's the queen? Oh, shoot. Um, let me double check. I believe it's the queen? Source of error. So... Scout, it's the queen of air. That's the queen of swords. That can be truth. She wields the true sword. She cuts out any BS, nonsense, lies, deceptions, and she stands for truth and justice. 
So here's the debt collector. Wow. Here's rescue. And then the source of air, which is the queen of swords. So it says the source of air holds the space for you to convey the secrets of your heart. They help you to balance the mental and emotional realms of your existence while encouraging you to trust in your own wisdom. Remember, the high priestess, the fool, the um, ninth house, and the hierophant, um, a hermit, the star, okay? And all that you cannot see but feel so deeply, the source of air calls upon you to be the caretaker. We had caregiving of your own splendid truth. They invite you into the amazing spiral dance of life, the space of pure potential, the authentic expression of your soul. The source of air is here to fortify you, to show you how to create healing boundaries so that you can honestly express your thoughts and articulate your vision. They want you to understand that healthy boundaries are one of the deepest forms of love. Within the source of air, you conceive a deep capacity to love yourself and others unconditionally. Here, thoughts and words can no longer harm you, for you are fierce and flawless just as you are. It says authenticity. Air, the east, water and air. Hand is Virata Mudra, spiral and cosmic sky. And it says trusting in the authentic expression of my soul. I embrace my fierce and flawless self. Wow. <laughs> okay. I kind of think that's correct. Especially with the Queen of Swords. All right. So. I was asking about the big event. All right. Can we expect anything with um, our health at the end of November 2023? Natural disaster. Just natural deaths. Is that what that means? Is this all natural? Is this all natural deaths with the health of November, the end of November 2023? Five of Cups. Hmm. So Five of Cups. Five is changes and transformations and challenges. So the Five of Cups can be tunnel vision. Draining. Something draining. Okay. Um, he has hollowed out eyes. The dog. Dogs can be loyalty. So this is not seen clearly. This is any regret. Um... Needing to forgive, feeling sorry, uh, feeling a loss, portals, vortex, wormholes. Um, is there going to be something about the health that's going to be called a natural and it's not? Is that what that means? Are, is, are these going to be called natural disasters, natural deaths, but they're not? Ace of Swords. Truth. I believe so. Okay. So here's the natural disaster. The Five of Cups. And then we have an Ace of Swords. So that's for me, Truth. That's Archangel Michael's sword. The Queen of Swords is Truth sword. So, hmm. This is cutting out nonsense, lies, deceptions, BS. For truth, clarity, balance, and justice. Court law. Um, Is there going to be, like, is this going to be talked about? Like, is... Are people going to see through this stuff? Are people going to be seeing through this? Of what really has caused deaths? Are people going to see through this? Ace of Cups. That's another yes for me. Ace of Cups. Feelings and emotions. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Water. Okay, this is unconditional love. The heart, heart chakra. Healing. 
a flow movement, there's going to be movement and people seeing the truth more and more and more. Okay. Wow. Okay. All right. Um, so <sighs> that was so interesting. Now, um, I just want to pull a few Oracle to end this prediction reading on November. This has been very interesting though. Um, I just am very curious to see what happens, honestly. So let's do, um, let's do the untamed elemental Oracle. See what we get. Let's do this one first. Where did I put my book? Untamed. There it is. Okay. All right. What do we need to be aware of throughout the month of November? What do we need to be aware of throughout the month of November? 2023. This month. Ladybug. Wow. Interesting ladybug, huh? Well, where would she be? Let's see. Ladybug. Okay, she is within, I think, fire. Yep, fire. Are you see Sagittarius? What should we be aware of for that throughout the month of November, okay? Miracle. When European farmers prayed to Mother Mary for a miracle to protect their vulnerable crops, Ladybug arrived to devour the pests. Oh, yes! Oh, how cool. The farmer surprised that divine intervention <laughs> could come in such an un unsuspecting form called her beetle of Our Lady. And we know her now as Ladybug. Ladybug signifies a miracle, but remember, when you expect help to appear in a specific form, her gift can sometimes be overlooked to keep an eye open mind. Yep. Divine assistance is improvisationable, or sorry, improvisational, playful, and surprising, and it is a lucid discovery like tiny ladybugs saving a whole season of crops. The same goes for the miracles that awaits you. Prepare for the possibility that they will be just as unexpected as they are mighty. Don't fear. Don't fall into the fear mongering. Receptive to unexpected forms of support. Practice playfulness as a magnet for divine intervention. Divine plan. Trust the divine plan. And then we have the divine conspiracy. We have the Aries first house, new beginnings, new journeys, new cycles, and then um, the joy, the enlightenment. Okay. All right. Let's do another one. Oh my goodness. Let's do the conscious spirit oracle. Conscious spirit. Where is it? Right here. Conscious spirit oracle. Okay. Um, let's see. Why should we be aware of all of these things? Let's ask that. <gasps> 38. What does that add up to? 38 is a number 11. <laughs> justice. No worry. Oh my gosh. Justice. Truth, clarity, balance, karma. And it says, forced frolic maiden. I acknowledge my inner child and open my heart to the joy she brings. Are you kidding? 38 says, um, why should we be aware of these things, okay? Too often, everyday burdens and chores pulls us down and prevent us from enjoying our lives. Fear mongering, the deceptions, the lies, both sides playing the game. It's all a show. It's all a game. It's all a freaking movie. It is to divide and conquer. It's to keep us in fear, keep us low vibrational. Okay. This card is a reminder to you to release the burdens of life and make time for fun, laughter, and play. <laughs> Same message. <laughs> okay. Take yourself back to when you were a child and took joy in the simple things in life. A time when you had no cares in the world and would dance in the rain, climb a tree, or take your first exciting steps into the ocean. Wow. Your inner child never leaves you. She resides deep within you, yearning for the occasional release for some freedom from the mundane, from responsibilities. When you are feeling burdened or simply need a lift to, 
to your spirits, call upon your inner child, allow her or him to flow out through your heart, sharing with you memories and experiences of joy and freedom of play. Let go and play. Have fun with that beautiful child. Reveal in the pure bliss and innocence of her childlike merriment. Wow. The next deck I chose was the Spirit Allies Oracle. Okay. All right. Um... Um, what is the important message we need to take with us throughout the month of November, this month, 2023? Labradorite, card number 17. Well, 17 in the major arcanas of the tarot is the star card, Aquarius energy. Aquarius rules the 11th house of hopes, wishes, friends, and communities. And um, 11 is justice, balance, truth, clarity, right? And um, the 17s and 8, 8th house is death, rebirth, changes, transformation, endings, and new beginnings. Things have to come to a culmination, a cycle um, to begin anew, right? And Labradorite, 17, 17 though, the star card is healing, vulnerability, universal energies, guidance. Um, let's read this though, Labradorite. What important message should we take with us? And it says, I'm open to great periods of transformation. Oh, with shades of blue, green, and gold, Labradorite is a distinctive crystal that holds a strong connection to channeling your higher self. Caught in just the right light, the crystal's iridescence shines like no other. Labradorite is a stone of awakening. This is all part of the collective awakening plan, divine plan, okay? It is a call to your higher purpose. You can no longer put off your destiny in this lifetime. A stone of the new moon, Labradorite, symbolizes a period of new beginnings to come. <laughs> Use this time to set intentions for where you'd like to see yourself and plan for the journey ahead. Call on your guides if you feel like you have questions unanswered so you can make a decision with all the awareness you need. Now is not the time to rush. It is the time to recognize the transformation to come and to prepare yourself to welcome it with open arms. Prepare, prepare, prepare. Keep yourself high vibrational, okay? Don't get distracted. Journal prompt says, how can I prepare myself for change? And then it's on page 32. 32, very interesting. I've been seeing a lot of 32s, 23s, which is fives. Fives says changes, transformations, transitions, and challenges, okay? All right, let's see what our last message is going to be for the month of November. And let's see. Let's do... Let's do the Sacred Light Oracle, okay? Oh man, I don't know where I put it though. Oh, I found it. Ha. Okay. All right. What's the last message we can take with us throughout the month of November 2023? What is the last important? Okay, I guess I'll take them both. First one, 21, light, seeker, seek out the light. 21's a three. Three is that third house in astrology ruled by Gemini. Communication, transportation, journey, technology. Three is also a mind, body, soul healing. It's like that Celtic, um, uh, what is that called? Spiral of life. It is mind, body, soul, maiden, mother, crone, right? Uh, life, death, rebirth. And it says light, quest, visionary, mental strength, and resilience okay i don't even know what the other card is yet okay all right oh my gosh it starts on page 56 56 is the number 11. don't worry truth will be coming to light in divine timing okay wow okay we are all born as light bringers but not all choose to follow the path of a light seeker, someone who is not afraid to confront controversial issues head on for they know that to find a way to the light is to hold a torch through the darkness. Oh my gosh. Always searching for truth. Enlightenment 
and connection to the divine. It is a blessing to share and gift the power of light, love, and illumination to all those you meet. Built over stages and many failures, the light seeker builds their resilience through understanding and compassion. Their quest for the light of the divine brings them to a path of constant learning, educating themselves about the true nature and calling of their soul. They see through the matrix that confuses and disorientates those whose souls remain unawakened. Trapped in cycles of ego, fear, self-fulfillment, and control-based paradigms. This is that cycle. This is what is changing. This is what is all part of the plan. Okay? This is, don't get trapped. Wow. Ascended Master Confucius suggests you build skills of the mind. When freed of mental limitations, human action becomes innovative, powerful, and fearless. Confucius breaks down any complexity simply so you can adapt or make small changes to areas that are being challenged. You'll be drawn to light-oriented actions. Align your mind with how you present yourself. This higher calling or light quest will bring you closer to your divine light. As your light begins to shine brighter than ever, we had the star card. Uh, the path you walk will become clearer and more in focus. As Confucius reminds us all, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. So, always have an open mind. Always ask questions. Um, truth is always stranger than fiction. Staying balanced. Being mindful and aware. Keeping your vibration high is very important to gain even more clarity. You know, um, it says, what is time when there is only present action? Ascended Master Confucius. Sacred crystal is jade. Affirmation. I control my view of success. My achievements speak for themselves. Let's see what the last message is. <laughs> How? Card number 17, the freaking star card. Aquarius energy. There's the scales of justice. Oh. Wow. Inner Oracle, you are the channel. Deja vu. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Self-fulfilling prophecy. It's all part of the plan. To bring the truth to light. Here we go. Receiving the knowledge and wisdom that is offered from deep illumination can often be prophetic and life affirming and will help you to know you are on the right path. Powerful realizations, prophetic vision, past life memories, and soul connections are triggered by the oracle that is centered deep within you. The wisdom of the the inner oracle is often buried within. Discovering its presence illuminates past mistakes, bad choices, and ego-based relationships with yourself and others. Revealing this connection can trigger internal defenses, making it difficult to maintain a solid connection to the intelligence of your oracle. Dedicated to illuminate the earth, Lord Lanto asks you to learn and grow your inner oracle with discussion, seeing the world with eyes of wisdom. Wow. And acknowledging that you are still a student learning in the great cycle of life. Accepting possible errors and judgments allows your consciousness to adapt, redirecting energy to a new outcome. Holding the flame of illumination on the second ray. Ascension Master Lord Lanto encourages you to become closer to your sense of knowing. Explore your psychic self and intuition as you examine previous signs and events where deja vu has been experienced. Sudden realizations will occur now. Having the courage to openly accept them is what initiates the act of enlightenment. Mastery is a key to self-success. Discipline your mind. Ascension Master Lord Lanto says, <gasps> Sacred crystal says Labradorite. Okay, inner oracle, right? Right there. Number 17, two. Two different, two different oracle decks by two different people. 
This one is Anna Stark, Sacred Light. And then um, the Spirit Allies is by Jill Pyle and Sydney Backert. Two different decks that mentions Labradorite and number 17. 1717. 17. You may want to look up angel numbers 1717 17 or angel numbers 88. Okay. And the affirmation says, I am constantly learning. I illuminate my presence with each lesson. Okay. So that's going to be it for the month of November 2023, the prediction reading. So I would love to know your thoughts, your beliefs on the situation. Um, even if you remember to come back and you're like, oh my gosh, um, you know, I was just listening to this or seeing this happen and it reminded me of the reading you did or the prediction or whatever it is, you know, you can always email me too. My email's in the description below. So thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share and unconditional love and light. So be it and keep it up. Keep raising your vibration. Keep connecting to like-minded individuals who are high vibrational, loving, um, are on the journey with you. Uh, we're all part of this divine plan right? So again, thank you so much. And I will see you guys in the next reading or video. Bye.